Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me on my YouTube and Rumble channels this morning. Today is May the 31st of 2023 and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord this morning. This word today is quite short but I hope it will give you insight into what the Lord is doing regarding His church. The Lord has been telling us that He is building His church, and He has also been telling us that the church that we see in the world today, to some extent, is not what He is building, that it is a man-made building. But even so, the Lord continues to build His church. I hope this word will bless and encourage you as you hear it today. This word is titled, The Building of the Lord. I'll begin by reading scripture. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 1 For we know that if the earthly tent, which is our house, is torn down, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. This scripture verse refers to the house the Lord is building, that it is a spiritual house, a house not built by men, but built by the hands of God. Isaiah 28, verses 16 through 17. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am laying in Zion a stone, a tested stone, a costly cornerstone for the foundation, firmly placed. He who believes in it will not be disturbed. I will make justice the measuring line, and righteousness the level. Then hail will sweep away the refuge of lies, and the waters will overflow the secret place. In this scripture, in Isaiah, the Lord is speaking about the building He is building, and He is referring to the cornerstone of that building, which is Jesus Christ and that he who believes in this cornerstone will he give confidence. And those things not built upon this cornerstone, built by lies, will be swept away. 1 Peter 2 verse 7 This precious value then is for you who believe, but for those who disbelieve, the stone which the builders rejected, this became the very cornerstone. This scripture, too, speaks of the division between those who would believe in Jesus Christ and those who have rejected Him, who in fact is the cornerstone of the building the Lord is Himself building. I'll begin reading this word. Jesus is the rock of your salvation. He is the cornerstone rejected by the builders, for they built a building by their own hands and did not include the rock. They built around him, around his precepts, but they did not build upon him. In this day, the faulty foundation is being torn down, says the Lord. I will not stand by while my people are misled. I will not put up with the builders who continually reject the cornerstone. The building will come down and the foundation will be removed. In this day, I have been building for myself a building built upon the rock of Christ. This building is not built by the hands of men, 
but by the hands of God. In this building, the name of the Lord is exalted, and he is made the center of everyone's attention. His works are declared amongst the assembly of the upright, and his deeds are made known to the people. In this place no flesh receives glory, for every knee bows before the Lord, and every tongue confesses that he alone is worthy of all praise and adoration. Righteousness prevails. The works of men are discarded in this place. They are not given a place of honor but they are brought low and trampled beneath the feet of the servants of the Lord. Every act of disobedience is brought into the light, exposed and trampled underfoot. Only a true worship is offered up to the Lord. This is the building I am building in this day, says the Lord. This is the place where the people shall come into unity, and the blessing shall be commanded. I am building my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against her. Those who mock and scorn the exaltation of the Lord in the assembly will be cut off. Their mouths will be closed. They will not be able to hinder the flow of worship going up to the throne room of God. They are not able to hinder the flow of blessing being released upon those who serve the Lord in song and worship. These shall worship the Lord continually, day and night, an offering of worship shall pour forth unto the Lord, and this flow shall not cease but will increase. For I am birthing worship into my people, says the Lord, and they shall prophesy, and they shall declare the goodness of God. They sing a new song unto their Maker, a song of joy and gladness, for they have been lifted up out of the ways of the world and participate together with the heavenly hosts, to glorify the Lord. Worship is the key that opens the door to the fullness available from the hands of God. Those who are mine will dance and sing and make melody unto the Lord, for they shall enter into the joy of the Lord, and their joy shall be full. In this word today, the Lord is speaking about the building he is building, a building built not by the hands or traditions of men, but built by the Lord himself with Jesus Christ as the cornerstone, the one and only to be worshipped with a free flow of worship going up to the throne of the Lord day and night. In this building, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ is exalted, and no flesh is glorified. Whatever is built by the hands of men will come down. Those who continually reject Jesus as the cornerstone of the building of the Lord. This is the church the Lord is building, that the gates of hell are not able to prevail against. I hope this short word today encourages and blesses you who are listening. May we all be built upon the firm foundation of Jesus Christ. May we join in, in unity, in a new song unto our Maker, a song of worship and a song of joy and gladness that opens the door to the fullness of the Lord's blessings upon our lives. Be blessed on this day. Thank you for listening. Have a great afternoon 
and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye for now.